What is up guys? It is your boy Steady Chaos or LG. They have finally come through in the clutch. They have officially released a firmware update to restore the brightness on your LG C10 television. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so if you remember a couple weeks ago, firmware update 03.21.09 was released. That firmware did make some great improvements. It helped with shadow detail, it helped with posterization, it helped with near black um, visibility, I would say. It also helped with uh, decreased color banding, so it had really some great improvements with it. It helped with some eARC issues. But the problem was is that there was a bug associated with it, at least we think it was a bug, in that it inadvertently reduced the brightness in uh, HDR game mode by about 125 to 150 nits. So pre-patch it was measuring around 650 nits, post-patch it was measuring around 525 to 550 nits. So needless to say, a lot of people were upset about this. Well, LG was quick to release a statement in the subsequent days informing all of the upset LG C10 and G10 users that another firmware patch would be rolling out within the coming weeks, fixing this brightness bug, fully restoring the brightness back to around 650 nits in HDR game mode, while keeping all the improvements that we outlined already in 0321.09. So that new firmware has finally arrived. A lot of people have been talking about this new firmware on YouTube. It is officially called 03.21.16. Now, like I said, a lot of people have been talking about this update being available. The problem was the only way to get the 1.6 update to get your brightness fully restored was if you had some sort of a service remote. It was like a third party remote you can get off Amazon or other vendors that allows you to access engineering mode or the service mode on your LG C10 television. Now I only have the stock remote, so I was not able to access the service menu on my LG C10 and then manually find a way to download the firmware update through that service menu like a lot of other people have. So up until this afternoon, the Dot 16 Brightness Fix firmware update was not available on any of LG's websites. I was scouring the web for the last several days looking for it. And still currently here in North America where I live, the update is not available through your television as a software auto update. So what you have to do, if you want this update right now, no matter where you are in the world, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to LG Korea. That's the only place so far that I can find this manual, this Dot 16 update available for manual downloads. Let's do it right now. I'll show you how to do this exactly. LG Korea, type that in. Now the website's gonna come up, a lot of it's in Korean, but if you're using Google, you can use English translator or whatever Spanish translator, whatever you need, French translator. So we'll let this load. So here it is, it's already being translated, as you can see, to English. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to go down to customer service and care supply shop. Click on that. It's loading a little bit slow. I don't know why the internet's running so slow. It's nine o'clock on a weeknight. It shouldn't be too much traffic. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you get to the point where it says drivers and software. You click on that. And then you go to Ultra HD. And then what you're gonna do is this model name search area, you're gonna to wanna to type in OLED 55CX C10 or OLED 55GX if you're using the G10. So I have the CX, so OLED 55C10, search, hit the magnifying glass. Now it brings up this information right here, detailed model name, I just clicked on the first one. It's loading. Now, you scroll down, you see driver, software, two matches. You hit this plus sign, there it is. So this is the firmware that you want. This is the 032116. So if you're still on the last firmware update, the 09 that broke your brightness, and then the update before that, the .30, uh, then you would want to download this one. You want to download the 03.21.16. You see here it's 1.1 gigabytes. So you would just click download, and you let that download. Once it is fully downloaded, it'll, I have it downloaded already. I've already installed this software successfully on my television. You'll see it downloads in a zip file like this, WebOS. You want to right click, you want to extract all. So when you extract all, it'll come right here on your desktop in a file format, LG underscore DTV, okay? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a USB stick, preferably completely free of any information, just empty. You're going to want to plug it into the side of your LG C10 or G10. Now, if your USB stick is not properly formatted to be compatible with your television, once you stick it into the side of your TV, your TV will say as much. It'll tell you. It'll say, 
okay, your USB stick is not properly formatted. Would you like to format? And you want to say yes. So basically what you have to do is you have to format the drive to the NTFS file. So when you stick it in to your TV, it'll automatically format to the NTFS file system. Now keep in mind when the TV formats a USB stick, any existing data on the stick will be completely erased. Just keep that in mind, okay? So if you have something important on your USB stick, back it up now before you stick it in your TV and have it formatted. Okay, now take your USB stick that is properly formatted out of your TV. Now stick it in your computer, open up your USB stick, and then the downloaded firmware that you've extracted to your desktop right here, all you want to do is take this folder, LG underscore DTV. You want to drag this folder with the firmware update in it, the EPK file, okay? Grab it and just drag this firmware, LG underscore DTV, right onto your USB stick. Once you've gotten it transferred onto your USB stick, it's really easy after that. You just pull the USB stick out of your computer, stick it into your TV, and it'll ask you, or basically once you stick in the new USB stick, it'll say dot .16 software available. Do you want to update? And you just say yes. I want to update. You let it go through its process to update. It takes maybe four or five minutes. Once it's updated, your TV will automatically restart itself. And then once it's back on, you've updated successfully, you're good to go. If you want to make sure that the process has been successful, though, you just hold down the gear on your remote, on your LG remote. You just go down to support and then go to software update and you see which software you're on. So currently I am on software version 03.21.16. So clearly the manual update process worked for me. And I've already had a chance to kind of tinker around um, in HDR game mode on the PlayStation 5. I played a little bit of The Last of Us Part 2. Now I'm about two thirds of the way through the campaign. I've been playing a lot over the last week. And I was playing on the previous .09 firmware update where the brightness was diminished by about 20%. And I didn't really notice much of a difference. Uh, it looked just as bright to me as before the firmware update. But regardless, I've now, as I said, installed the .16 update and I'm playing some Last of Us to see if I can notice any difference. And it really does, it could be a placebo effect because I'm expecting there to be a difference, but I'm trying to be as objective as possible. And honestly, to me, it really does look a little bit brighter overall. Globally, the screen looks a little bit brighter. Shadow detail is even a little bit better and a little bit easier to see and navigate. And some of those specular highlights look a little bit more intense. I'm not about to tell you that it's crazy brighter, you know, but it does to my eye, to my naked eye, look a little bit brighter. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't test the overall nits or peak brightness of my LG C10 pre and post patch because I don't have a light calibration tool, so I can't really measure it. But to my naked eye, it does look a little bit brighter now, and I'm happy about that. And of course, all the improvements that we got from the 09 update, improved shadow detail, uh, decreased posterization, decreased color banding, all that stuff is still present. So really what you have now is a really, really nice image quality in HDR game mode. You've got your brightness back, you've got some good improvements to shadow detail. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get this video out there to let you know that LG has come out. They have released the dot .16 firmware. It does restore your brightness back to its original levels and it does keep those same picture quality improvements from the 09 firmware update that we got two weeks ago as well so that's pretty much going to do it hopefully you found this video helpful if you have please leave a like please subscribe to the channel it really helped me out and until next time guys we'll see you later peace